You say it. Hey, it's January 1st, 2017. Mm. This is Kathy, Kathleen Mary oh. Wiesenbaugh. Wallace Wiesenbaugh. Wallace Wiesenbaugh. And she has a story for us. I just wanted to talk about my dad, who was born in 1896 oh. in Istachata, Florida, which is, oh. has now been swallowed up by the semi. Man. And... Mm. Uh, let me see, he had an older brother. His dad had a newspaper stand. And I think the dad, his dad used to, Ben Wallace used to be. I think a trapper, French trapper. And his mother was a Cherokee Indian. And Native American. Cherokee Indian. I like that term. I'll use mine. Yay. I don't like to be politically oh. correct. Sorry. That's what they ever that is called today. Okay, now I diverge. No, you do. So anyhow, <laughs> my dad was seven years old when his mom died of TB, I believe. And the doctor came out of the house and told him that his mother had died. So TB would ran, be tuberculosis. So he uh, ran down the street crying and he fell in front of the church several blocks away and he just cried all night and he fell asleep. And when he woke up in the morning, he was on the sidewalk and his dad was walking down the street. Why his dad didn't come get him the night before, I don't know. But he, my dad looked down the street, and his dad was walking towards him, holding his brother in his hand. He took my dad's hand, walked him straight to the orphanage, left him there, never once bet, went back to see them, and married a woman in the same town, had five more kids, and never went back to see those kids. My dad lived in, his, in the orphanage. In case of the the <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Steady. <laughs> He worked hard, and he had a plow field. They planted a big orange orchard. They had cows and horses and planted everything they ate and had worked very hard. And when he was 14, um, he, he used to pride himself for telling the truth. And this one time they didn't believe him, so they used the horse whip on him. And that night he ran away. And he got on a... a Train. Well, he had a friend with him, and the friend got sick, and he left them with a farm couple. But I forgot some other things. There was like things that his mother, his Indian mother, taught him. Cherokee Indian mother taught him um, about when he almost cut his foot off with the axe one time because they didn't even have shoes, and uh, he remembered that there was this moss that grew under the. Um, grape arbor mm -hmm. and he mixed that moss with uh, the mud that was surrounding it and kept that on that mm -hmm. cut foot and it he healed with almost no scar and then later they discovered mm -hmm. penicillin so the Indians knew about I'm sure it was penicillin way before other men discovered it anyhow he had lots of adventures mm -hmm. he would tell us mm -hmm. all about growing up but that can wait. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? I don't think we have all night. A bug, the boxer. <clears throat> yeah, well, that came later. He was a professional <coughs> boxer for a while, and he also worked mm -hmm. on the Seven Mile Bridge going into Key West. <coughs> and that's when he went to navigation mm -hmm. school, put himself through navigation school, and he became a... Um, Got his captain's license, and then he had a fishing boat, and he started making money. And with that money, he went to navigation school again. He got his master mariner's license, and then World War One came along, and uh, he was a merchant marine captain. And then they, uh, he uh, sailed ammunition across the Atlantic in the war. Very dangerous torpedo run. Then he was a ga captain mm -hmm. again in World War II, but he had lots and lots and lots of adventures that he would tell us about all the time. Very dangerous. Oh. 
Maybe if you'll remember some of those we can record later. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Who would remember? Wait, so my great...